Hey Jim Morrison fans, what we have in front of us is Village Recorders. This is where Jim Morrison recorded uh, his poems that would later come out in the American Prayer album in 1978. Uh, he was here February 9th, 1969 and for his birthday on December 8th, 1970 and he unfortunately died uh, seven months later on July 3rd, 1971. He recorded a bunch of poems here, like I said, The Great Lizard King. And he uh, was here with Frank and Kathy Lisiandro, a friend of his. Frank was from uh, his early UCLA film school days. And a guy named Alain, Alain René, he was a French guy. And he was uh, with him in Paris before he died. Uh, this song right here by the Lizard, Lizard, Lizard King is a celebration of the Lizard King. And, if, and uh, this, this uh, painting right here, through the years, it's been fading out. And pretty much, when I got here in LA in 1980, that was like really rich, the color, really beautiful. But it was supposed to signify the coming great disaster earthquake that would destroy Southern California. And obviously, it hasn't happened yet. But all over LA there's postcards and there's t-shirts of that beautiful painting. A few of the uh, famous albums that were uh, recorded here. Actually every famous, most famous musician of the 20th century recorded here. And just to give you a runoff, the band, the Les Waltz, Bob Dylan, Planet Waves, Steely Dan, Gaucho, Pink Floyd, A Momentary Lapse of Reason. Rolling Stones, Goathead Soup, Super Tramp, Breakfast in America, Stem Stone Temple Pilots number four, and Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style. When uh, Jim's uh, American Prayer album came on 78, the uh, rest of the doors, they added uh, background music to his poems that you can hear right there. And uh, this, this was originally a Masonic temple built in the 20s. And then in the 1960s, it was the headquarters for Maharishi Mahesh Yogi's Transcendental Meditation of uh, Beatles fame. And then this was then converted to one of the first 24 track studios in the world. And Aerosmith also uh, recorded here. Uh, Johnny Cash, Mariah Carey, Alton John, I can go on and on, Tom Jones, uh, Ringo Starr, John Lennon, George Harrison, the Allman Brothers. I mean, anybody who is anybody, and, Mo and also Re Weezer and Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, anyway, let's go up there. Let's get a little closer shot of that, of that painting. Uh, next time I find that t-shirt, I'm going to wear it. I always thought that was a cool painting. Like I said, uh, there's like uh, postcards of it all over LA, t-shirts, prints. And too bad uh, the original artist doesn't come and paint it back in. And uh, I can imagine what these people see every night, the famous uh, musicians that come here nightly to record. And as you can see, let me get a little shot inside. They have uh, some gold records in there. A the few of the gold records that they recorded here. And there you go. And uh, imagine Jim Morrison being here on his birthday on December 8th, 1970. And let's go up a little. We're in West LA, right off of Santa Monica Boulevard. We're at 1616 Butler Avenue. And like I was saying, all these videos, if these walls could talk, huh? And here's the original pediment of the Masonic Temple. And uh, like I said, this is one of the first 24 track uh, recording studios. And uh, to give you guys a little perspective of what it looks like here in West LA right off Santa Monica Boulevard. Beautiful uh, architecture. Okay, uh, this is pretty much more for Jim Morrison recording his poems here, The Lizard King. 
and I was playing back there the celebration of the Lizard King and uh, okay well thank you very much and thank you for watching my other videos okay bye